Hi, hello. Um, this is GTA 3 Definitive Edition. This is the latest patch, not the day one version. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. I am very smart. <laughs> <laughs> good start, good start. Uh, let me just restart the game. Hopefully, OBS will actually like uh, capture the thing, like the audio, and someone is vacuuming right, at, right outside my door. So, uh, hope you enjoy the vacuum sounds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. Got to keep the house clean. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess we can start. So, you know, we, you know where the timing starts, right? Yep, I do. I'm a, uh, I'm a gamer. Yeah. Leaderboard moderator right here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I guess I can just press and you'll start the timer when needed, right? Yep. All right, let's do this shit. Good luck. Oh. All right. So, uh, GTA 3, you've seen it, like, once or twice already, this marathon, both the original and Definitive Edition. Um, the original was any percent, so it'll be pretty much, the, like, if you've seen the very first one of the marathon, it'll be fairly similar. Like, the only difference is that I won't be doing as many dudes, well, not as many, I won't be doing any dudes, because the setup for that in this game is, uh, not very fun, let's just say that. And uh, you'll see that I'm just spinning the camera around and resetting the, then resetting the camera with with E, and that despawns traffic. So there's no like top-down camera in the game. There is cinematic cam, but uh, where's my cinematic cam? There it is. Yeah, it's in in, uh, in 1.0.4. I want to say. Yeah, the, the last patch. And contrary to popular belief, uh, sliding is not fixed in this. The only way, uh, one method of sliding is fixed. The method when you switch weapons using the, the scroll wheel. Because it's like a delay before we can like scroll through the next weapon and so on. But using the, the quick switch binds, the you know, 1, 2, 3 and 4 by default, you can still slide normally, which is yeah. and bizarre. And one used anyway because it was just easier to use. Yeah. <laughs> it's bizarre. And the first, like, the first mission, only, I think, like, this mission? And, like, two other ones where the markers just instantly stop you? Like, they forgot about them completely. Yeah, it's that and, like, Fuzzball and, like, one other, I think. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, a nice quality of life update, and then they just forgot and <laughs> stopped caring. 95% of the game is just the same when it comes to markers. Yeah. Again, I'm too fast. What is with me? Now I'm gonna see if I can get a get a weapon. Finding. Uh, that's an after guy. Awesome. That's why I'm. Uh, I'm getting shot at. Okay, no mind. This is a gang war. Sir. Drop off Misty. Uh, that is not the parking I wanted, but it, it will do. And uh, guns early on in GTA are usually very vital to a lot of the early strats because you're not supposed to have uh, guns early on until the game kind of teaches you where to buy them, where to get them, and how to use them. So a lot of the early missions um, are like based around you having very little weaponry, but then if you can find a gun somewhere, for example from a Mafia member, uh, you can usually get like quick kills on a lot of people and speed a lot of the early missions up significantly. Yeah. Oh, don't spike my bitch up. No, they're fairly straight for a mission. You, you go to a place, you kill a guy, you take his car, respray it, and go to another place. Pretty much like a lot of early game GTA 3. Yeah. And uh, another method of killing people that you see there is uh, running over them. If you hit somebody with a car, it usually insta-kills them no matter what, how much health they have. I don't know if it's like actually set to insta kill them or if it does, does, does like a really so. high number of damage. I'm but... not sure how exactly it works in the car, but it's like it deals a lot of damage. That's that's yeah. Like it so kills. like even if it's like a boss enemy that would usually take a lot of bullets to kill, you can usually insta kill them by just running them over. Yeah, it's so. used in SA and gray imports to kill the last guy because he usually has a lot of health. Yeah, and also um, what's his face Kane in Lost Temple Cross? He has like yeah. body armor and stuff, but you can just insta kill him the same way. I see a request for MSX. Let's go MSX. 
Oh, and yeah, I guess Pulaski. High noon. I don't well, in high second. noon, you kill him with the the hold sprint to from the passenger side, right? Like you don't. Run yeah, in the region at least. Yeah. That's not a thing in this this version. So now slide to the cop car, see if we can get one. Okay. Just one locked. Okay, cool. Good shit. Uh, oh, there's one on the road. Awesome. Yeah, a cop car is also like vital to the early game of GTA 3 because one, it gives you a shotgun, which is one of the most broken uh, weapons early game. And it also just gives you a very fast car. Like the yeah. cop car has like almost the top same, if not the top, uh, same top speed as the Banshee, which um, is like one sure. of the fastest cars in the game. Yeah. So yeah, the, the cop car is like uh, top 10 best, best vehicles and you can get it super early on. The unfortunate part is that it's very likely locked, which is very annoying. Also, like I think it's like the fastest commonly available vehicle in Portland. Yeah. The only other one is the Banshee in the showroom, but it's not exactly like yeah. commonly available. Yeah, it's also the other side of the map at this point, yeah. which is not very useful. So drive Misty for me, you pick up Misty. Uh, here I get out so I can like get control a bit quicker because in definitive edition there's no such thing as like npcs walking to you towards you when you're in a car they always run to you no matter if you're on a car or on foot just an interesting change but it is a change nonetheless has anyone successfully done the bad chaperone usj with a cop car i'm pretty sure i did that in my casual run but it took like Eight tries, I think. Yeah. But also, I believe in definitive, it's way easier. Yeah, you get you get like a lot of more time for some reason. Yeah. So it doesn't really count. I can't flex too much. Hey, the fun part is as uh, as you as you saw in the in Omega Soul Mission run, you cannot start the mission while the mission pass jingle is running. Well, not running, no playing. Uh, yeah, I have to wait like 10 seconds after every single mission. Yeah, that's weird. A really odd change as well. Mike Lips, uh, you drive a car. Uh, you, you know, you, you drive a car to a place, then you drive a car to another place. Not much to say. This mission, there's a, there's a drop though. Usually just you know take the route as the GPS says, but instead uh, I'm just gonna do this jump here. Hopefully I won't damage the car. All right, that's good enough. Well, this is a lot faster than like taking the road. Can you imagine because you need to go all around here, down here. Take this dirt road. And go to the garage, but instead you can just jump. <laughs> and take the, take the way back. Yeah, when you take that uh, little shortcut to Salvatore's place, you can also see that the uh, the, the minimap is not at all the uh, synced with the roads. Yeah, yeah it, it's misaligned. Uh, so whenever you drive down Salvatore's place, you'll be driving on the grass, but it'll tell you that you're driving on the road because the minimap is misaligned, which is quite funny. Yeah, the, the GPS though is lined up correctly. Yeah. Now cut. Unfortunately, there's no radio in the cop car, so sit in silence. Yeah, this isn't toughened, so. Yeah, unfortunate. So for some reason you always have one one star after this mission. I don't know why. This doesn't happen. Maybe the. I don't think so. Maybe um, my Clips' car blowing up counts. Maybe know. yeah. Like killing him. I guess that that would be the most logical sort of like answer. Hey Chunky, you, you go to a to a place. You shoot a dude, and you pass the mission. I'm not sure what, what else is, th is there to say about these missions, they're like really straightforward. 
I guess there's, I, can, I guess I can mention there's an achievement with this mission now. Uh, if you take uh, Chunky's car and um, and set it, like give it a bomb, and Chunky blows it up with this bomb, uh, you get an achievement. Because you know we all love achievements, right? Okay, Van Heist. This mission is kind of tricky, I guess, if you're playing for the first time, because. The van that you're supposed to steal is uh, is bulletproof, so you cannot just like shoot it. But uh, um, the, in the speedrun, I have a different strat, just using a car explosion to damage it just enough. And this is the bad pattern. This, there's two patterns this van can take. This one right here, further into Chinatown, and there's one that goes further along the the main big road. Yeah, this uh, this pattern's bad because it's like the opposite way to where you want to be going. But not only that, but uh, turning around in this really congested area of Chinatown is really annoying. Like, there's a huge chance you'll hit something, you'll get screwed over by cops because you're trying to turn around and just all sorts of stuff. Whereas if you're on the much bigger main road, it's so much easier to deal with. And yeah. it's closer. Just take the car to the garage. And you'll, uh, you'll see me do uh, a setup after this mission for 40k rockets. Uh, I will attempt it once because there's like no easy way to recover from it. Like, I don't know, c compared to like the um, Mr. Zero setup in VC, where you can just like reload and auto save due to how the setup is, how it works. Uh, I'll do it and then if I get it, if I, when I get it, or if I get it rather, uh, I'll explain what I just did. First, I need an ambulance. A paramedic is crucial when it comes to this setup. Yeah, in his vehicle. Get the siren off, please. Take the door off. And we go to the rampage. Yeah, it's very convenient that um, there is a rocket rampage right next to Joey's place. It's literally right around the corner. It'd be nice for them flip the ambulance. <laughs> Uh, that little grass patch is a hot spot for flipping. It can be very annoying. Position. Alright, that's early. Ah, uh, didn't get it. Oh well, unfortunate. Well, so, what I was trying to do is uh, start vigilante. Uh, not vigilante, paramedic. Can I get it? Okay, I got out. Okay, good. <laughs> Because that tutorial um, like cutscene is unskippable, so if I if I actually triggered it, I would like I would need to like sit and watch it for like the next half a minute. Uh, but yeah, the setup is pretty much I take I start paramedic, I get out the get out the, um, the ambulance to like have a like a grace period. Because Paramedic is like a grace period, I guess, would be the right way to call it, before it continues with the rest of the mission. Dude, why is everything locked? Hey, gone. Um, dude, move, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's a grace period. Basically, basically, it's taking advantage of, like, the there's like two seconds between Paramedic starting. Um, so then you can grab the rampage in the meantime, and then when Paramedic ends, there'll be an almost in zero rampage. Yeah, and, and then that you allows you to, if you reload the auto save from there, you'll keep uh, the ammo from it. It's very similar to a console setup to get 30k, which is where you go onto an on-mission zero rampage and then save the game and load it, and you'll have 30k. Yeah, it's very similar. It just uses auto save instead, so it's a lot faster. A lot faster, and also like a, a lot more difficult because the timing is really tight. Yeah. You need to get out. You need to get into the ambulance when paramedic ends, and you need to uh, like. Yeah, when the paramedic ends, when you start the rampage, and you need to like start vigilante, uh, not vigilante, but uh, paramedic. And I have a wonder level. I forgot about that. <laughs> you cannot continue this mission with a wonder level. Come on, go away. Yeah, this is one of a, a couple of uh, segments where each individual checkpoint you can't progress with a wanted level. And the same applies to Salvatore's call to meeting. So it can be a very annoying to deal with. I guess I'll just go for the bribe, sure. It, it's always Salt's Law that as soon as you grab, or are about to grab the bribe, it expires. What am I calling you? What is this round? It's like a scenic route. 
It didn't expire, this was about to grab the bribe, so you know, there's that, please. Ow! I'm trying to give the mission. More cutscenes. This one's skippable in the original as well, so it's like a new DE, deplore feature. Again, another mission where you drive to point A and then to point B, and the mission ends. Very original. Yeah, this one's even even more epic. It's like you dr drive to point A. Tony walks into a laundromat with two guys with guns. They shoot him like 17 times in the chest, and he's like, "Oh, ow! Please take <laughs> me to point B." Such a goofy mission. Yeah. At least there's no try of cloning machine in this one. No RG. Anyways, uh, free bands. The famous free bands mission. Uh, there's free bands running around Portland. You need to destroy them. The game gives you grenades, but that, that's slow and annoying. I mean, really annoying. <laughs> so we just go to ammunition and buy ourselves an Uzi. We might also pick up some pistol ammo just in case. What the hell is this pattern? Where are these guys going? One is going to Atlantic Keys, the other is like. The, the, the two opposite ends of the map. H. Tony using his former protagonist's plot armor to survive that triad and that's true. Really for that through. Yeah, these uh, these vans uh, can pick any route. It's completely random, and uh, they also take less bullets to explode um, or to set on fire. In definitive. Yeah, and explosions that are definitive are like really weird. They seem to explode quicker, I guess. Yeah. Why well, I'm heavily paying attention to when the van sets on fire so I don't destroy my car. Yeah, because if they blow up next to you, you're just dead, and that's not good. He's in near the crusher. Guess I can catch him up. Oh, never mind. He he went there. He juked me. I don't even need to slide here. I need to wait for the jingle to end. Time to make them people bleed. Now, pick up. Uh, this mission is also like infamous for being stupidly difficult. Especially on like console where the aim, the auto aim, the PS2 version at least was absolute garbo. So, yeah. <laughs> I have a shotgun here, so I guess I'll just use the using a pistol. So you pick up got the briefcase, uh, you get ambushed. Now we just need to fight fight your way out of here. Um, die. Why am I using the pistol for this? Not very fast. Alright, that was good enough. I don't need to worry about my health, because when you start the mission, uh, you get full health back. Just another odd change, to say the least. The... Because it spans all three games, and I think it... I say it's like even more ridiculous, because you get full health back once you start Vigilante or something? Like that? 
I don't remember if that's actually a thing. I don't know much about SA, but I definitely noticed that in VC when I was uh, playing through that it would just heal you at the start of every mission, which makes this whole game a joke. Yeah. It makes all of them a joke. And the site definitely happens with like story missions, but I don't know how it is with like side stuff. Yeah, the same. Uh, and yeah, it wouldn't uh, surprise me if they just like cost it as all missions, you know. Yeah, and uh, new rain. It actually doesn't blind you completely anymore, so that's nice. Uh, actually, looks pretty good. Yeah. That reminds me, I need to patch my uh, GTA 3, so that it looks half decent. <laughs> now worth the sixty dollars, guys. Uh, I need to patch my 3 in VC actually, because I can actually, you know, play all the missions in VC as well. The rain in VC already like looked good, but VC was the only one that doesn't look terrible. I don't know what happened with free in SA. Thanks, Cam. Uh, another drive to point A, to point B, to point C, to point D mission. Uh, so, Salvatore, the, the big dude. So that's the head of the Leone, Leone family that you work for currently. Uh, he's organizing a meeting, as the name suggests. Uh, it's, it's, I don't think I've ever had rain this mission before. How you doing, kid? This is gonna be interesting. The weather cycle overall is going to be off just a bit because of that and well, me not getting for DK rockets. Going to improvise a bit. Unfortunate, I was I heavily practiced that, but timing for that is really tight. And if you screw it up, you're pretty much, you know, it's over. You need to kill yourself and just continue, I guess. It well, looks cool, said. but it doesn't save that much time, so. Yeah. Definitely makes some missions less of a pain. Yeah. Yeah, it's just more convenient, if anything. Yeah. Can I get pushes? Nice! That is very good. The raw block here, so you can just get pushed through it, just smash through it, and it's fine. You need to worry about anything. Yeah, and the uh, Lima has quite a lot of health. Now, with the exception to the rule of mission, oh, Jingo must finish before you start mission, uh, Salvatore's Mansion. Because instead of, like, Salvatore's Mission, instead of just having one marker like every other mission, it's like a big marker that spans the entire interior of his mansion. Uh, and that marker triggers normally, if you, like, no matter the Jingo's playing or not, compared to the normal, like, blue markers of the rest. Like, what? <laughs> What's the consistency in that? Okay, okay, I see how this. Don't run over Pika. And this is uh, unskippable. In the original, it was skippable, just you know, holding the acceleration button. Well, not holding, you know, pressing the acceleration button, just skip this, but here you cannot. What's on, what's on the radio? Hell oh, So we, we need to wait here, why uh, why not do some stun jumps, right? Uh, okay, that parking was not very good. It will do. Oh, do you want to know uh, what PowerNet found today, Hoxie, speaking of this mission? Yeah. You know how in, uh, how in Toughen there's that really loud, obnoxious cutscene? Yeah. 
that plays. You press your submission key, it skips it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because Adam was streaming it, and I guess that like inspired Paladinet to go into the code and like look at that particular cutscene. Yeah, there's been a flag the whole time. You just press submission and you just skip it instantly. No. I, I cannot believe that I was never told that. At least your ears will not will thank you later. Yeah, and it saves a lot of time. It's really long. It's like thirty seconds. Just yeah, just chill. Yeah. I did I did get the stun jump, but I flipped, so I'll need one, I guess. Because I'm not doing a stun jump in the banana. One because banana sucks, and two because why would I <laughs> in front yeah, of these cards? I don't think it's even possible. I guess the sentinel would be realistic. Uh, what is this mule doing, buddy? Buddy. Right, dead body, so have collision in the game. Maria got stuck in a dude and just ran over. <laughs> Take Maria back to South Mansion. I'm not used to doing this mission today, holy crap. Usually night. <laughs> Paladin also tell you you can make the jumps in my my clips. I always knew you could make the jump. I just thought it was impossible in like a hyperbolic sense because it's it's not worth doing. Because if you make even the tiniest mistake, you either die or you have to pain spray, and then it's slower to just not do it. I mean, Adam. To not do Adam it. got it twice in a row. So. Yeah, but then he had to see on the the other time he crashed and had to like restart. Yeah, so. I guess. Like, yeah, if, if you're good enough, it is doable, but with how, re like, Tough End is way too hard to incorporate, like, risky 10 second time saves. You know? That is fair, yeah. It's not worth doing. So, Paladin Grass, uh, another mission with achievement now. Uh, you pick up Curly Bob in a taxi and you get an achievement. But not pick him up, you drop him off. You get, you get what I mean. I'm gonna pick up this AK here because I'm on the timer. Uh, hopefully, can I pick this up. Thank you. If I had rockets, yeah, you still I have the uh, you still have the the cycles in terms of picking up stuff, so it's possible to run through things uh, and not actually collect them because uh, the game only checks like if you're actually on top of something ready to collect it every X frames. Yeah. So if you get unlucky, you can just you know get the wrong frame. It won't actually clash you as picking it up. And obviously when you're sliding, you're traveling very fast, which means that it's even less likely because you'll spend less frames inside the pickup zone. One body move. Oh, I hope my taxi isn't damaged. No. Good. Not listen to Chatterbox. Usually in this mission you have like you need to follow a taxi to display it's, like boring and slow. Come on. The trigger zone is just smaller indeed than the original. Or like all the markers for some reason. Okay, hey, next up, try and Uh You go kill three dudes that are on the map. That's it. <laughs> really, not much yeah. to, really not much to say about these missions. This mission tries to be somewhat complex with the fact that one of the guys is inside the fish factory. In order to get that, you need to get a fish van um, in order to you know infiltrate it and kill him. But in reality, you can just go around the back and you can like stand on top of a car and just kill him. Yeah, shoot him over the wall. Yeah, exactly. 
So they didn't quite think it through. Like it, it's it's a good idea conceptually, but uh, it doesn't quite work out that way. Yeah, that's just like another part of like GTA 3 is not like really, it's not free because Rockstar didn't want like wanted to be super free. It's because it's the code like code script, like the mission scripts are like really basic. Yeah, it's uh it's a very ambitious game, but the the code does hold it back in quite a lot of places. Park here, jump on the car, get my AK, and shoot him. Just like that. And the next dude, which is in Chinatown. Actually, they're both in Chinatown, I think. I don't remember how big the district is. They're like right next to each other. I'm so glad they added the, like the option to disable the alpines now because they look so ho so horrible. <laughs> yeah. It just screamed like Unity asset store to me. That was what it always seemed like. Now it's un actually Unreal asset store, I think. So. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> does uh, Unreal have like an asset store like? Unity it does. does? Yes. There's sort of, like an yeah. Unreal marketplace or whatever it's called. But that's what it screams to me. Unreal marketplace. You know, it's not, no, I'm not saying that it's bad that they're using that, you know, it's there to be used, but... <laughs> okay, I've had enough of this. At least make it a bit less obvious. <laughs> yeah. Now, oh, Blowfish, uh, you drive a trash truck to the fish van you just, vi you just visited. Again, nothing super special. Here's the special thing this mission is that you cannot crash it too much because you'll explode. This desk That's is it. made of two inch thick yeah, yeah, you, um, you, you take it into the uh, triad fish place because the only other thing that they'll accept in there besides a fish fan to show that you're one of them is a trash truck because they need to take their bins out, I guess. Yeah. Um, so you rig it with a bomb and then you go in and destroy the entire fish factory. It's uh, very important that your position um, towards the end of the mission is particular because if you stand underneath the roof I don't think this is fixed in defensive but at least in the original in case I'm wrong uh, if you stand underneath the roof and then the roof collapses you get stuck under there and uh, <laughs> I didn't even know yeah. that <laughs> there's not a whole lot you can do I remember it happened to me during GTA Marathon 18 in Toughened and I couldn't even use a cheat to kill myself because in Toughened if you use a cheat it just gives you six stars <laughs> so I had to slowly wait for the um, for the police helicopter to kill me, and it took so long. I lost like 25 minutes because I didn't have a save. That sucks. Yeah, it, w it was tragic. If I can make it to the and on well, the fence of the gate or thing, no. It's so you, st you still have Vish Van too, which may seem like a bad idea because mules are usually pretty slow. But these particular triad fish fans are extremely fast for what they Yeah, are. they're really, really fast. Yeah. So you can take this all the way back up the hill to Sal's without much issue. I guess it's because it's a gang vehicle, so it's just supposed to be fast. Yeah, just by default, like it gets marked as a gang vehicle and Magically, you have double the amount of acceleration. Like, I don't think there's a slow gang vehicle in this game. What's the slowest one? Like, the Audi Lobo, I guess? Yeah, I was gonna say that. The rest are all very fast. Now, and that's done, uh, on the base. In not on, at night, actually, I haven't... In the market. <laughs> I don't think I've done bomb the base in this game during the night before, so this is gonna be fun. Instead of aluminum, I mean, Why is it they all think switching they into Chatterbox so much? I, mean, I know Chatterbox is a good station, but come on. Yeah, Chatterbox is really good in GTA 3. It's probably... But I would say...
besides VCPR in uh, in VC, I would say Chatterbox is probably like my favorite talk radio. Yeah, that could look really good. Yeah, I, I love VCPR because of the two people. I, oh, I can't remember what their names are, but you'll know what I mean. Where they're talking about like public radio, and then they just like shit talk anyone who doesn't give them money. Oh yeah, oh, they're like like super shameless about it. Yeah. I can't remember their names. I'm sure someone will know who I'm talking about. I yeah, think there's two hosts, right? Yeah. I only remember Mar Maurice. Cause... Yeah, there's Maurice as well. Like his show is like most, the most entirety of VCPR. Yeah. Yeah, more unskippable cutscenes. Thank you, Definitive Edition. Yeah, nice boat. Let's look at it for 15 seconds. <laughs> look at these lights. Default on Real Engine 4. Like, so good. Like, Unreal Engine 4 looks good, but when you use the default assets, it's like really obvious. <laughs> you use the default asset. Yeah, so the he, here you're intended to go up and uh, and shoot a bunch of guys from like a vantage point, which is up the stairs. But uh, you can technically shoot them from anywhere, uh, just as long as you're in position to kill them. And you can just stand on top of your car to shoot them. But uh, it does make it quite a lot more difficult to shoot them because of how you know small the yeah, I don't think targets I got, are. I think I didn't get one dude because as the shot moves. You can go up and see, just to be sure. Still there. Yeah, and you, contrary to popular belief, you can just drive up there and kill them. Like, it doesn't matter where you are, you don't fail the mission. That's good. <laughs> yeah, if you're ever unsure, you can just drive up to check. And for once, this cutscene doesn't blow your ears off anymore. That's nice. Yeah, they did, they did actually normalize the volume of this. Thank you, Grove Street Games. Normalized bomb to base cutscene. Toughened chaperone cutscene skippable. Our ears are saved. <laughs> what could possibly hurt us now? Let's go. The quality of the rest of the audio. Yeah. <laughs> Now we just need not compress the game audio and we'll yeah. be set. Let's go. Now the last mission in Portland. Uh, well, if you're using a nor like a normal, uh, like normal definition of where Portland ends, and you're not Camex. Yeah, yeah dude. Portland ends at a uh, Grand Theft Auto start technically. <laughs> And it ends on Espresso to, and, uh, I think it's Sam's story because you go to Portland Espresso to go. True. True. It's important to drive here, trigger the pager. And not get into the car. That is also very important. You know, don't make a GitHub issue about it. And it's intended that you blow up once you get in there. That's one of the highlights of my like time in the GTA community, I think, was that GitHub yeah. post. Great. It's fantastic. Listen, Salvatore thinks it was all for the Like I can understand like when you play when you're playing the game for the first time and you don't notice the pager, like you know, you explode, fine. Uh, and instead of like maybe doing some research, maybe like that's intended or something. You just make a good copy issue. Like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> much better ways to do it. <laughs> Choose the wrong way. And it's for like a niche mod as well, where like it's so uncommon that you would play that for the first time because like yeah. you already need to own the game to install it and all that kind of stuff. Like, like uh, those can like RE3 is is made for people who have played the game many times. You know. Yeah. It's not something you would just find on like the top thing of GTA Underground. Yeah, so shout outs to me just losing like a minute because of me not being able to start the mission. Because I finished Sanger Savatore, uh, not Sanger Savatore, really, last request at like 5.50 and this mission works like that, that once you start the mission, the, uh, the clock is rounded up and then two and a half minutes are added to the clock and that's your time when Salvatore comes out. 
and if I like cannot start the mission before uh, 6 a.m. like comes on, then I lose a minute. <laughs> You know, that's fun. Good change. I like it. Yeah, in the original you can play replays in order to like reset the current second, or I guess minute in game. So you can keep spamming replays like every 0.9 of a second to make sure that the, co the, the clock doesn't tick over. Um, unfortunate misspeak there, but we will uh, move swiftly <laughs> onwards. <laughs> what can I say? I've just got it on my mind. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so you can use replays, but obviously there's no such thing as replays in this, so... And the Banshee at Asuka's place doesn't spawn for some reason, so I need to take this thing and just like, get a random sports car off the street. Yeah, it's, it's very strange because there's like, there's two Stinger spawns, whereas there's usually one in the original. Like, there's just an extra one there, and then the Banshee like, rarely spawns. Like, yeah. the and there's also... editions have a, have a ton of issues with fixed spawns, currently spawning. There's like, an extra Corresponding as because like a normal stinger just like in the middle of the road. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is a problem. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, you don't want to copy her because you have to wait and park <coughs> in a very specific place, and if you sit there in your car. <laughs> then the cop's just gonna pull you out, so... Are you for real? <laughs> nice. That's, uh... Yeah, classic GTA. Well, time to just hope and pray. Yeah. What was my style timer? I wasn't even looking. 8.30. It was 9.14. <laughs> Wait, it was? <laughs> yeah. I could have sworn it said 8.30. Then again, I am watching on quite a small screen in OBS, so. yeah. and I am blind as well. Not a very good combination for looking at small text. No. You're chilling and you're like, oh yeah, English Eng Ben, you want to help with commentary? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, what game is this? Like, I can't tell. This, this, could, this could be like GTA V for all I know. <laughs> I, I, no idea. It looks that good, dude. It's dynamic shadows, dude. Look at that. Yeah, dude. They're moving periodically every two seconds. <laughs> Look at that. Next gen technology. At least the AK here. B, doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I should not have used the AK here. Handle. Um, okay, that works. <laughs> I was not very fast, but that works. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. All right. All right. Oh. All right. I'll just take a cop car, I guess. Yeah, shadows to cube map reflections in this game. Like cube maps are supposed to be really, uh, like really performant, like good for frame rates. And when I turn on cube maps in this game, uh, my frame rate like halves. So yeah, nice. Like they're generated in real time. <laughs> maybe that's why the maybe that's why the game runs so badly on the PS5. Put in furnace. I'll take that. Yeah, I wonder if anyone's found like the optimal, optimal settings yet. Cause I just like whack it on medium. I think it's like you know, yeah. looks somewhat okay while also running somewhat okay. Hey, under surveillance. You go to three places and you kill Mafia dudes. Again. Good mission. <laughs> the, like, the plot is that the Mafia are like spying on you, so you just go kill them. 
Because you're working with the Yakuza now, not with the Mafia after you killed Sal Salvatore. Uh, use the weapon wheel like a true modern gamer because the weapon layout in this game makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, they changed the uh, the weapon like order when you switch up and down just with like the mouse wheel or with Q and E and whatnot. Uh, they changed it to like represent the weapon wheel. But the problem with that is is that it doesn't quite work unless you don't use the weapon wheel. So like, yeah. one, two, three, three, three. Um, the first thing that you switch to would logically be like. Uh, small arms to like the big arms, right? So like you'd expect to switch to like melee weapon, then pistol, SMG, shotgun, that kind of thing. But uh, what, the way it actually works is it kind of goes backwards. So the first thing that you switch to when you uh, scroll once from fists is like the rocket launcher, which is uh, very silly. Yeah, it's the same on all three games. Yeah, and then it's like rocket launcher, grenades, pistol, shotgun. Uzi or something like it's, it's so dumb. So technically, it's inefficient to use the weapon wheel because of how it slows down the game. But at the same time, it's so much easier to just point and click what weapon you want instead yeah. of relearning a new stupid order that makes no sense. I actually got the dude behind the balcony. Wow. I usually did, actually don't get him because there's this one dude that's like in a position where it's really hard to hit him because of a balcony he's behind. Oh. Like it's pretty much bulletproof, the bullets cannot go through it, unless you like shoot on a specific ang angle, then it does go through it. Yeah, for the most part, like sniper rifle bullets can completely penetrate surfaces, so you'd think that just wall banging people with a sniper would be quite easy, at least for the most part. But those specific balconies have really terrible hitboxes, so like, these, these guys can sometimes just be invincible to any angle that you face them at. It's very annoying. Paparazzi porch. Uh, in like casually, this mission you're supposed to take a police bow and then you're supposed to chase this dude. Like that's boring and slow, so we don't do that. We have an M16 instead, so go here, pull out the M16. Hold that click. Uh, okay, he should be on fire. Oh, he isn't. Okay, understandable. Nice. <laughs> Did they nerf the range of the M16 in this? It definitely feels like it. I would say so, purely because you can't cross map people with it anymore. Alright. So I, I would just, consider that nerfed. I just, okay. I just did that. Nice. I played this game before. Huh? Auto save. I will, I will just load an auto save. That's what they're for, right? Yes. Zero penalty for a fuck up. Dude, <laughs> what's it with me today? <laughs> if you put like it on HP again, just snipe it. You snipe know. it as like a quarter of its health. And that's so actually a smart, smart idea, I don't think of that. Because yeah. usually in the, like in the region, just hold left click with the M16 and you win. And pretty much most of the missions in this game, but apparently it doesn't work here. Or my aim just blows. It's also a very good, a very, big, very big possibility. Ah, my car is gone. It's my handsome handyman. Guess I'll see if I have uh, the banshee spawn. It did. Okay, I'll take it. Again, reloading auto saves usually gets the car spawns to like actually spawn. Same in VC. You load an auto save to get in for this spawn after what mission like pen pen? I think. What's that, sorry? That's oh, it. But in VC, you, uh, you reload an auto save to get in for this spawn after one of the DS missions. I don't remember which one of those. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Pen. Holy shit, it's dark in here. What the hell? Who turned off the lights? Yeah. Uh, 
and I think enough time has passed to read this, we have a five dollars from Poker, and they said, um, <laughs> so they said, wait three minutes before reading. I have to get back upstairs. I think I've done that. I think three minutes has passed. <laughs> Hi Hox, I'm at work, so can't log into chat. Just wanted to say good luck. Thank you. Put this towards a package, a stunt jump, or blindfolded Kingdom Come. Runner's choice. I'm not doing Kingdom Come. That's like four missions. <laughs> it's also blindfolded. I don't have anything to blind my blind myself with either, so. Just pepper spray, anything simple really. <laughs> it's a great idea to pepper spray yeah. myself. <laughs> just just mace yourself. Yeah. For the kids! Ah! <laughs> I guess I can pick up a package. I can probably remember one. You just drove a password behind that blink with a scarball billboard, fun fact. Oh yeah, there is a yeah. there. Yeah, I, I learned lots of package locations from watching GTU. Package in the park, I can take, I guess. It's probably a better time to get it, but I'll, I'll take it now. You know, so get out of the way. Taking it during payday for a huge. Come on, Cole, watch Mojo. <laughs> what is this route actually like for real? I'm going. Ride them the park shots. Usually, usually you have a rain here, so this is nice and easy. Hey, Mr. Great Britain <laughs> resident Ben, why does Phil only have one arm here? Because he blows off his other arm in, uh, in a Vice City mission. Wait, doesn't he blow off like the arm that you that he has in this game, like in DC? Yeah, he, uh, there's a lot of continuity errors. <laughs> I'm curious if LCS fixed that, or LCS also has the wrong hand. It's gone. I don't know. Any LCS enthusiasts in chat? When does Phil appear in LCS? Um, one of the oh, Toshiko he owns like, the ammunition as the awesome shit. No, it's, it, he oh. appears at the end of one of Toshiko's missions. And I think he's an ammunition, I don't remember. Like you deliver some guns to him. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you throw a grenade, uh, you throw another grenade, and pray this dude goes up. Thank you. Okay, that's good. I've actually gotten pretty good at the grenade throw, so that's nice. Yeah, the uh, the, the grenade throw is like... It, it looks fairly difficult to time, but it's actually really easy. You literally just like drop it at your feet and he'll drive into it. Like, the, the more you think about it, the more difficult it becomes. Yeah. <laughs> that's also one of the missions where 40k rockets makes life a lot easier because you need to worry about actually missing a grenade to shoot a rocket. They hit McCaffrey with the rocket, you just shoot the garage and it kills him and yeah. <laughs> Okay, arm shortage. Uh, you meet you meet Phil in this mission, so get hype. Uh, hopefully I won't hit a tree. No. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. More cutscenes we cannot skip. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Columbia, you should be here any minute. So, so, as I don't have 40k rockets, uh, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some rockets here, and the collision of these boxes is completely different from how they actually look. So, you know, more consistency. So two dudes coming to my left, so I'm just gonna put a rocket at them. Hopefully they won't shoot my rocket. 
can happen. Okay, that, that dude survived. Die, please. And just to be sure, I will, um... I'll shoot... Uh, I'll buy two sets of rockets. I will should have enough money if I don't die. Actually, wait, will I have enough money? Oh. Uh-huh. I'm not sure about my economics here. Uh, I guess I'll just buy one, one set and use grenades if I run out. <laughs> You have enough to buy like three sets of rockets, don't you? I don't remember, like, doing my restaurant, I think, after Sam had like 520,000. Although I did buy two. Oh, well, whatever, too late now. I'm committed. You don't need that money. Oh, that was a bench. I need. I want a new car because Evidence Dash is next, and this car is kind of beaten up. So if I use this for Evidence Dash to end in a disaster. In fairness, what can go wrong, right? At least it's not a stinger. A stinger for ED is terrible. Yeah, the, the Infernus is like the fastest car in the game, but you don't exactly want raw speed for Evidence Dash. You want acceleration. acceleration is a lot more important because you're going to be slowing down and stopping and starting quite a lot when you bash into things. Yeah. Okay, so the Banshee is like ideal because of how good the acceleration is. Okay, where the is car the... is very underrated as well. Okay, where is this going? Is he going south? He's going south. Okay, because he can go in the tunnel that's, that runs under that part of fountain. And it's like really annoying to get to him. <laughs> he does that. In general, him sticking to the south side of the map is good because uh, the next place you're going to be going to is Donald Love's place, and that is in the southwest of the map. So, worst case scenario is when he drives all the way to the north because then you have to yeah. finish the mission and come all the way back. And because you don't have replays here, you're doing this mission with two stars, which is fun, my face. Yeah. GTA 3 cops can be very annoying. Oh, I not pick this up. Um, oh wow, I actually dropped it, looks like that. My Esperanto move. Heaven is Dash is a fun mission, guys. Oh, he's going north. Oh, that's bad. Come back here. Yeah. This is arguably like the mission where you can lose the most time and it's not your fault, I would say. Yeah, shoutouts to anti losing sub one on evidence dash. Oh, yeah. Any good cars here? Yes, that's a banshee. Dude, are you like okay. Understandable. I guess I'm not taking that banshee. <laughs> nice. I guess I'm just sliding. I can get something else. What the hell is going on there? Why is that crew on fire? What the hell? What happened to the crew? <laughs> Maybe it was like caught in the explosion, but then like as it set on fire, drove away. You know, got scared. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, right. Like nothing good now. I guess I'm taking a fucking cab. I don't mind. This is actually. That's not a banshee. And then cop cars happening already. Nice. Okay, Liberator. Uh, I need a car to the cruiser now, so hopefully I'll get that. There is there's a, a, there's there's a, a 6 on, yeah. So, if you're gonna risk, you know, a, a, a roll of the dice, you might as well just try and get one in Newport, because they, they spawn very... Ah, uh, sorry, Fort, Fort Staunton? Is that what the area is called? Yeah, that's Newport. Fort Staunton. Because uh, they, they spawn very commonly, and obviously they're on the they're in regular traffic, so... If you're gonna roll the dice, you may as well get the more convenient dice yeah. roll. And you're very likely to find one on like one or two drives up and down. There's one on. There's two actually. I'm gonna hold QE here to 
aim to the left so I don't get dragged down. That's a, that's a strat that works. It's in the original, I'm not sure if, I guess, if it works in DE, but I don't see why it shouldn't. <laughs> I completely forgot that was a thing until it was talked about the other day. Like, that was discovered like a year ago, maybe more. Something like, knowledge. Stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, if you hold like Q to look left, you can't get dragged out because you can't get busted or anything in GTA 3. Good rocket, good rocket. Very good. Yeah, I probably won't bother with rockets here. Save them for Wakagashira and Sam. Use grenades for everything else. At least for the garage. Good. Yeah. Let's take this dude back to Donald's. Wonderful drive in this wonderful vehicle that spins all over the place as well. It's like, if you get into a slide, you're pretty much just stuck in it, you cannot save it. <laughs> Also really bouncy, which is also another very good quality. Yeah, I want to turn around to face the right way, there's a land stalker and a marker. Cool. Is Waka Goshira Wipeout? Uh, you, Donald tells you to kill Kenji, so you kill Kenji. It's, it's supposed to look like a cartel, like the cartel did it. So you need a you need a quarter cruiser again. It's convenient because there's two missions in a row that where you need a quarter cruiser, so you can just like, keep it. The for this mission looks uh, is that like intent the intended way is that you drive up to the top level of the uh, of the parking garage, then you run over Kenji with the car, all of, like everyone is just shooting at you. And I think the original had like M16, so you're just like dead instantly. But, but you just like stand here, the rocket launcher out, shoots a bunch of rockets. Back in the car, Kenji's dead. Cool. It's a banshee here, so I'll take it. And then just leave the area. Lose the door. Okay, now I lose the, I lose the side bumper. That also looks like it. Yeah, for some odd reason, like 99% of cars in GTA 3, you can just grind against the wall to like scrape the door off. But that just does not work with the Banshee. Like, you have to hit a wall pretty hard at like 45 degrees for the door to come off. Otherwise, it never scrapes off. And it's the only one that that happens to. It's like, the other one is like the Karuma. But the Karuma does scrape off. It's just, you have to scrape it a lot harder than any other car. So I don't know why those two are like really strained exceptions to the rule. No, no, no. Now, a detail. Uh, another very exciting mission. We're gonna make a two minute timer. We can just like do whatever. Then a plane comes by, you pick up some packages. And you go back to Donald all with a. Uh, well, in this game, four star won the level. In the original, it was a five star. Yeah, they, they nerfed it down a little bit so you don't have to deal with the FBI, just the police. I guess make. I guess it's kinda nice for the casual player, but like for runs, it's kinda annoying because you use Adito to get a VI car for export. But casually speaking, it makes the mission significantly easier because the FBI are psychos in this game. Yeah. Here's the, the extra singer for some reason that's here. It's not in the original. It's like there's a bunch of extra car spawns. Like there's the uh, in the showroom, there's an extra car spawn, right? Yeah, and it's also like it's not a specific fixed spawn either. It's just like any random one. Yeah. 
from random oh, that can spawn. Apparently, yeah, yeah. I've been told that it can spawn a blister there. Yeah, so I, you thought, can I thought blister, blister around yeah. Yeah. Imagine like resetting Hondo until you get a blister. <laughs> I mean, I think in Hondo you usually like export it during sign out of Atari with. You know, you're on a time with it anyways. Yeah, but you gotta remember with stuff like that. It's like, if, if you can export it in Portland, there's always more efficient things to be doing during the auto scrollers, you know? That's true, yeah. And 10 more seconds of this wonderful wave. So I feel like the rotors on this dodo are like, like spinning too quickly, so it looks like they're like broken. <laughs> A cool rain. I'm just gonna make the drive back fun. Yeah, while Hoxie is uh, is picking up these packages and singing in the rain. Uh, I can mention that we are here today raising money for Save the Children's uh, Global Day of Giving. Uh, Gaming Tuesday is an iteration of Giving Tuesday, which is on November 30th every single year. So uh, I've, for the last two years, I've been running an event uh, raising money for kids in over 120 different countries. Uh, we've been here from 6 p.m. until midnight UTC every single weekday. And then t today and tomorrow, we'll be here from noon until midnight. Uh, showcasing the best GTA speedruns from around the world, um, you know, trying to entertain you the best we can, all in the name of raising money for kids, giving them access to education, medicine, and other things that we usually take for granted. Nice and hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Stinger? <laughs> oh no, you managed to get through. Okay, good. <laughs> That's gonna get blown up anyways. Yeah, very epic. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're here, you know, we're, the, the police are trying to pull us down, keep us down, but alas, we are still going to keep completing games as fast as we can, uh, all in the name of raising money for the kids. So we're at $27.35 raised right now, uh, which is absolutely incredible. Smashed last year, we raised just over $2,000 last year, and uh, here we are almost hitting 3000 so that, that's amazing. slowly building up towards $3,000 raised. We should be able to do it with today and tomorrow, I reckon. So yeah, uh, please do keep donating, and thank you so much to anyone who has so far. It's been a pleasure to put this event on for you all. Uh, uh, that thank you for enforcer keeping me stuck in the corner was uh, kind of kind of worrying, to say the least. It's not the first time I got like owned there by cops. Yeah. Have finally managed uh, so shout outs to, again, cannot start mission till jungle has end, ended rule. Uh, you cannot make this bridge cycle now. Like, I don't know how how quickly you drive actually make it. I don't know what car you need to have. I don't think I've gotten it even in, uh, in, force, it's, force in Furnace. I don't think it's possible even yeah. in Furnace. Yeah. Like, it's... Because you not only need to break it, uh, break it. You don't need to make it, but you need to make it like fairly comfortably too. Because if yeah. you just about make the cycle, then you'll clip through the bridge, through the ground. And yeah. You, like bounce off the bridge, and then if you used to land on your side, you're pretty much just clipping through it. Yeah. Which has happened to me before. Oh my god, me too. Not a fun feeling. Perfect. Yeah, so the, the way the bridge cycle works is like as soon as you complete a drop in the ocean, um, you unlock the, the third island, which is uh, Shoreside Vale, and as soon as you do that, uh, there's like a cycle for the bridge that goes across, so every X seconds it goes up, and then every second X seconds like it goes half down a minute, again. I think. Something like that, yeah, I forget exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, so usually in the original GTA uh, 3, if you were quick enough at starting the next mission, you can immediately start Grand Theft Auto and just about get quick enough, uh, get there quick enough before the bridge would go up for the first time. But that's no longer possible in Definitive because you have to wait like 100 yeah. years for the mission to start. Get your controller out, boys. Dodo flying time. Yeah, so 
Dodo is very epic in Definitive because they, they forgot to map uh, any kind of keybinds to fly it with a keyboard yeah, because, on a PC game. Yeah, because in the original, uh, the Dodo and the fire truck shared the button for like going up and down. Which is, you know, and now the fire truck just, you just move the turret using your mouse. Using your mouse. Like, it's a good change, I guess. And yeah. GSG forgot to add in keybinds for the Dodo. <laughs> Yeah, so it's completely impossible to fly with the Dodo. Like, everyone always mentions, like, oh, have you tried this button? Tried this button? The answer is yes, it doesn't work. Like, there is there is no key on your keyboard that will get the Dodo to fly, because they just don't exist. So the only way to fly is with a controller, and I'm sure Hoxie can say, when you're used to flying it with a keyboard, it's very awkward yeah. to use a controller all of a sudden. Like, it's very difficult to switch uh, over. Like, fortunately, you can switch between keyboard and controller on the fly, but yeah, like using a controller to fly the Dodo is very awkward. Yeah. If you've if you've been used to keyboard the whole time. Not that I've been really good at flying the Dodo with a keyboard either, but you know. Yeah. Now, if you watched the omniscience run of this by Omega, you probably saw him do Dodo bait with a controller uh, because he's a chat gamer. Uh, I'm not a chat gamer, so I'm doing do bait with a with a car. I do not blame you unless you exist. <laughs> Hopefully I can get a better car on the way. While this Yakuza finger is fast, it's not the fastest. Nice to get him faster. Bench will do. Mission, and then we'll go back to the construction site just for a bit. And I guess one good thing with the jingle is that you can you will not like start Donald's next mission accidentally. If you're not careful. Yeah, you walk into escort service. Yeah. You need to like stay in the market for like five seconds. <laughs> if you haven't like <laughs> if you haven't realized you're playing the, the wrong mission by then you deserve that. Yeah. That will be bad. And bait. Uh, you, there's three cars on shore side that are like Catalina's goons, I guess that would be the right way to call them. And they're like hit squads, they're supposed to like chase you and kill you. So you, you like tra you go to them so they notice you, and then you take them to a Yakuza trap. Uh, I don't know why you need to take them to the traps instead of just killing them yourself, but yeah. You, you need to take them to the trap. It's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate too, because it means that you have to rely on the AI um, in order to, you know... One, you need to rely on the drivers to actually follow you to the destination. And two, you have to rely on the Yakuza to do a good job at killing them. And as you can imagine, 2001 AI, and you know, you might mention, oh, this is a game that came out in 2021. No, nope, 2001 AI. Like, this was not modified, really. It's just as bad. Um, these guys can just troll you endless endlessly. Uh, the bug with, if you're on food, the AI just like, th thinks you're in a different place from the original, is still in this game. Yeah. Yeah, if you get out of the car, uh, they will just completely cease following you and drive off to the dam or some shit. It's very silly. Yeah, I don't remember what was the reason for it. it was like your Z coordinate is incorrect or something? I don't remember. Something like that. Um, but yeah, the, the long and short of it is, is that you have to like, whatever vehicle you're in, you have to stay in it the whole time. And then you lure all the guys and then sit inside the trap place and just pray and hope that the Yakuza do their job. Oh, that can be good owned. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as you trigger like all of them and they go into the zone and they're like co correctly registered as, you know, trapped or baited or whatever, 
Um, then you can actually get out and shoot them, but only until then. So for the first couple of guys, you have to hope the Yakuza does their job. And, and sometimes they don't. And very important to not kill this dude with a, with a shotgun because he like deals the most damage. Yeah, he's the MVP. One car. Ah, okay, looking good so far. I'm starting to think that I actually fix double explosion because that would be that would definitely be a double explosion in the original. Yeah, I do believe that they fixed double explosion. I've yet to see um, any. Even in like super common hotspots, like you know the van that you blow up on the. Uh, and Guardian Angels, yeah, the, like pre-fire with the Kruger, yeah, that always double explodes in the original, but it never does in the yeah. I think so. So. This dude usually takes the dam. I guess he just took the this bridge now. Cool. Okay. That's very done. <laughs> Actually, the AI has changed very slightly. I haven't uh, seen a source on that before, I believe it. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same to me. Yeah. I guess they're a bit more aggressive. Like, it's like more angry drivers, from what I've noticed. Uh, do not flip. Just leaving a flip car in, the, in, in this like small path is kind of annoying because I need to go through the dodo. I mean, with the dodo through here. Yeah, it's the classic. Oh, what idiot put that car there? <laughs> I wonder. How rude. So, E2G, uh, there's, I guess, well, coffee in quotation marks with like actual like drug stands all around Liberty City and need to destroy them. The fastest route to do this is take the dodo and fly it to Portland, take the Banshee and then do P Portland stunt in short side. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I don't like crash land this fucking dodo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, with these stalls, like the most logical route is to do like a sweep from one island to the other, but it's only really possible with the dodo because of the fact that, you know, if you were driving, you would have to drive to Portland and then back to. Stauntum, which is very slow, but flying is very fast. The only issue with uh, the Dodo route where it's supposed to go is that if you fly directly into the car showroom like you would in the original to spawn the Banshee, a lot spawn. of the time the Banshee won't spawn, yeah, yeah. I don't... so you have to like slow down and land like a lot earlier in order to slowly enter the spawn zone. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it spawn ever if I just down there directly. Yeah. So I'm taking. Also, you can see a very awkward despawning yeah. here with the uh, with the controller. It's very annoying to do. You pro it's probably a bit better if you up the sensitivity, but then the rest of the things you do with control will be just pain. Yeah. It work. All right, get, get out, please. Then just best to slide. Manchi, and off you go. So for these two, for the two stalls in Portland, I'm just gonna smash into them because that's the fastest way. Just you know, there's also guys shooting at me, so I'd rather not get hit. I know, I know, my health regenerates per mission, but. So nice to have some armor, because that does move him, right? Okay, unless I get stuck, that also works, sure. Okay, next up is Stanton Island, I'll be going south to north, pretty much. Just you end up the closest to the, uh, to the shore side left bridge that way. Okay, my grenade throws won't be absolute. Absolutely horrible. 
If there is one rocket I'll use on this mission, that's the that's to destroy the skull that's in the in the park. Just driving in there and flanking it is slow. Because it's the terrain is super bumpy so you lose a lot of speed. Okay, don't flip. Alright, alright. Sure. Do your thing game. Just ignore that was that was fully my fault and just blame the game. It's easier. Okay, that's a good throw. I still don't fully understand how the grenade throwing this game works. It's like a bit different from the original. Like, I don't, it's weird. Yeah, throwing grenades towards the stalls uh, has never been particularly good on espresso to go um, it's definitely not any better in definitive <laughs> seems claude has like quite an quite a inconsistent arm on him did it i hope so i did okay good yeah that's an important shot to hit because uh it's a lot faster to shoot it from outside the park and he only has uh two rockets left and the one rocket you need for Sam. Technically, you can get one during the mission, but it's a lot better to have one uh, you know, readily available. Yeah. I won't be doing the damn shot because the setup for it is like that's in from the original. It's like pretty much useless because the texture completely changed. The yeah, none of the, none of the references like points work. So. Like, usually, the way you would do the reference is you would stand on a certain bit of texture on the floor, which no longer exists because the floor is just, like, one concrete color. Yeah. Um, and then you would stand at a certain place and then use W, A, S, and D to aim without moving your mouse to make sure that you've got the perfect, like, lineup. Uh, but you can't do that anymore because you can't use W, A, S, and D to aim by default. You can only use the mouse. So, uh, I imagine a new reference will be found. But I don't think it would even help. I remember Omega me mentioning that even if you do hit the shot in Definitive, the package spread when it explodes is so big that even if you shoot perfectly, some go in the ocean on the other side of the dam and then some go into the dam. Yeah. So they, they spread out all the way from either side. It could be a frame rate thing, but yeah, it's it's not as consistent as in the original. I think is that lineup really that precise? Yes. You have to stand in a very specific spot, aim in a very specific place, and you have about half a second of the way to shoot. Yeah, it's really precise. Nothing else will work. Obviously, the original has like really obvious reference points, but th th those don't work here. Yeah. So I believe even if a consistent reference is found, I believe it won't be any faster because going into the dam to pick up the packages and then back into the water is so slow. So I don't think it'll ever be worth it in DE, unfortunately. Black fall, and that's E2G done. How much money? Half a million. I actually would have been fine buying those rockets, oh well. Yep. Oh shit! Uh, get out. That's fine. I didn't die. It's okay. It's not dying. Is all. Yeah. Especially outside of the mission. Because <laughs> during the mission, it's a bit less bad because you know you just you start a checkpoint. Oh, the mission you you don't, and you lose all your weapons. This one reminds me of waking up on the and tour bus. This is like a smash. So if it does rain in, the, in this run, still you, your eyes won't be like completely destroyed by it. I don't like this landing. Actually, never mind. I don't really need the dodo here, because, you know, I, I'm already on a timer for a airport. It'd be, it'd be nice to have it. 
But yeah, Summer has quite a lenient um, timer. You have like, what, three and a half minutes to get to yeah. shore side. It doesn't take that long. It takes like less than two to get to the airport, even if you drive. And I have enough time to just like go get some armor. Shouldn't have been a bit slight on like they can't. Yeah, I do that all the time doing this uh, armor takeoff. Dude, really? In Idaho. <laughs> they just <laughs> legit pulled in front. Like they they had no other lane to go in. They just turned into you for no reason. Yeah. Complete troll. Like this guy in the plane in particular. Yeah. I, mean, I cannot blame him. I'm driving a plane on the middle of the, in the middle of the road on the wrong lane. But come on. Yeah. Now we fly to the airport. Uh, hopefully, I won't trigger any stun jumps on the way. This is a yeah, bit yeah, of a sketchy uh, takeoff. <laughs> yeah, it, it is possible to trigger uh, stunt jumps with a dodo, and then the slow mo and the awful camera doesn't reset until you land. So. Basically, if you're flying over like water, for example, it's certain death because you can't see where you're going and you're just gonna crash land somewhere, which is always very bad. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, well. Okay. That works. As well, I mean, here. I landed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fortunately, here the timer isn't based on like. You know, you have this amount of time to complete the mission and get back. It's literally like you can't progress the mission until the time it ends, so. Yeah. Should, I still have enough time to like go get the dodo, I think. More than enough time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are actually three dodo spawns in this airport. There's one here, one in the hangar, which you've seen before, and one in another hangar towards the kind of east side of the airport. I don't know why there's so many, but uh, you can never complain because there's always a convenient dodo to take. I'm just gonna park it here and hopefully it won't blow up when I once I shoot the plane. And if anyone's curious how great this weapon like order is, uh, rocket, bat, grenade, pistol, Uzi, uh, AK, M16, shotgun, sniper. <laughs> what is yeah, this? At the end, and then rocket bat is just so funny. Like <laughs> super heavy weapon, little bitch boy melee weapon, grenades. Like <laughs> it's so goofy. Legit looks like someone didn't pay the bill, so just all the lights are turned off in the city. <laughs> yeah, it's me playing. Uh, what's it called? Uh, city Skylines. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I try and build a new city. Right. Tactical nuke incoming. Oh, that, okay, that wasn't so bright. Actually, never mind. Let's just Take a tactic. I forgot I exposed twice. Even though I yeah, the, like, um, said it multiple times to other people that exposed twice. I'm guessing you got the armor so you can tank the second explosion. <laughs> Five head. Uh, but yeah, that, that explosion at least uh, when these games came out on PlayStation, it would actually just quickly open up your PlayStation. <laughs> that was that was great. If you shut down the, you shut the plane. Shut down, yeah, shut your the PS4 plane. would just shut down. Yeah. Fine, back to the the construction site, and hopefully I will not break this plane because I want to use it for the exchange. Yeah, I have a lot of height. I don't like this. Uh, you know what? This works. This works. I'm not gonna complain. Plane is still alive. Now I just need to. Don't let the cops destroy it. Easier said than done.
What strat are you going for for the exchange? Are you just doing like regular dodo exchange? No, no, I will attempt that, yes. Yeah. I guess you don't really have much choice to be fair. You can't exactly do crash change <laughs> yeah. or mega jump exchange or anything. So. Yeah. You can do casual exchange, I guess, but that's slow. Yeah. Hopefully I'm hitting this. I don't know. Because going in a straight line while holding the left stick down is harder than it looks. Yeah, it, it is It is very difficult to do. Shoutouts to Radio Off being a different radio station from this being Radio Off. <laughs> Where is it actually? Yeah, if you scroll through the radio, you have, that was like... There's Chatterbox, Radio Off, no radio name, Radio Off, Head Radio. <laughs> oh dear. So that plane landing is not good. So I will, ha I will have a lot of fun trying to take it off. Yeah, this is a horrible <laughs> <laughs> parking. Close the doors, no one drags me out. Uh, this land stalker is not helping. Oh, come on. Right, here we go. I'm to embarrass myself in the front of a live audience. Right, I goofed this at ESA, so can't be any worse than me. They did spawn. Land the plane. There we go. Okay, don't don't fly off. Okay. What the hell? All right, see ya. Yes, yeah, so the idea of this is that you uh, you fly, <laughs> nice rogue, uh, rogue dodo. Yeah. Is you fly low enough to trigger the guys to spawn, uh, so then you can start the final cutscene from the roof uh, without actually having to you know go through and fight them all. You can just shoot from the roof immediately. Monoria. Okay, time. <laughs> Save the minute on that to my PV because my PV didn't do the other exchange. So yeah, that was GTA 3 Definitive Edition. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully this like uh, convinced you to not buy this at full price. Like, uh, this like this game seems alright if it would be like I don't know. Forty dollars, I guess, like ten dollars per game, not sixty. Several citizens were injured in the panic. Not worth sixty bucks. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's. Uh, it would be worth it if it was like discounted price or maybe even like, you know, free for people who bought the originals. You know, and the same way they did the mafia ones. And same with no how they did the with the originals the now, they gave everyone who owns Definitive the originals on Rockstar Games Launcher. Thank you, Rockstar. I broke a nail and my hair is ruined! I mean, can you believe it? This one cost yeah, me 50 Great stuff. Right, that was... And that. You, can, uh, you can actually skip the That's, credits. Yeah, That's we need to wait. Definitive. So yeah, that was GTA 3. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't bore you too much. With my uh, questionable at times commentary, anyways. <laughs> uh, next, good. Uh, next time is V. Next up is VCS and MG, the most comfy GTA category. Don't at me. Your opinion yep. is incorrect if you think differently. We're going back to uh, back to Vice City, back to the first game canonically, so we can see Victor Vance's story. Uh, going to Vice City stories for the first time. Scaler will be running. We've got Momo on commentary. Very exciting stuff. Uh, preparing for his hundo run later on in the event, I've been told. <laughs> Will it be such sure a he'll, Sure he'll love me for that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back very soon. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a little while. Bye. Crocodile.